little shorty playing in the front yard of the crib. I fell down and I bumped my head. Somebody helped me up and asked me if I bumped my head. I said, yeah. Okay. Um, decided to do a little bit of painting and trying out my new camera setup. Um, this, these are a couple of minis that uh, I offered to do for a friend of mine who is, uh, who's is who got a Pandora crew, so he wanted his Pandora and his Avatar Pandora to uh, uh, match. So um, I agreed to do it. I'm, I was more interested in all Pandora, <clears throat> to be honest with you, but, uh, you know, I, I actually kind of like the original Pandora, and it gives me an opportunity to try out my new camera setup, and we'll see how this goes. So I've already went ahead and preloaded the eyes, as you can see, um, and I'm mixing up a flesh base right now. So the flesh base is pretty simple. It's about, uh, let's see, what I do with that color? There it is. It's about uh, a four to one mixture of uh, Vallejo model color flat flesh and about one drop of the uh, Vallejo game color uh, heavy skin tone. And that's just gonna give me my um, the base tone uh, skin that I wanna work with. And uh, <clears throat> I'll just take it up from there. So uh, let's get started. Again, the difficult part here is just cutting around the eyes without uh, taking that heavy black eyeliner out without uh, losing the detail of the eyes. So I'm going to use a kind of a smaller brush than I typically use. Just going to bring it in as far as I can go. And the other thing is I have to paint both of these at least skin tone both models at the same time to make sure their skin tones match. Now typically with some of the other models that you guys have seen me do um, you've seen me start off much lighter than this and you would think with a a neverborn sort of creature that Pandora is that uh, I'd want to start off pretty light, but uh, now as it turns out, you know, this model's in the, at least out in the sun a fair bit, so I didn't feel like uh, I needed to start off too light. However, I'm going to take this pretty light. Now normally I just cut it in the face like that. Make sure I didn't miss anything. <clears throat> Not so bad. Let's uh, cut it in the other face. I don't know how much you can see here of Avatar Pandora. You really have to hold it by the tentacles to do this correctly. Cool face on Avatar Pandora, by the way. So let me cut these in. And uh, I'm going to stop the camera right here. This is a little tedious to watch. So let me do that, and we'll be back with the, uh, the based models. Ooh. Okay. Um, skin base tone is down. Just let that dry for a second. Uh, and while that dries, let's talk a little bit about what our next steps are for the skin. So what I normally do as I start taking this up. Now, if I want to go more subtle, or if I'm doing male flesh, I just keep going with flat flesh into my mixture. But uh, I'm gonna take this into kind of a pinkish area. So I'm moving up to light flesh. So from that original mixture, 
I'm going to add just a bit of light flesh to the mix. Um, leads to kind of a kind of a really soft skin color. Um, and you're going to want to mix a significant amount of water into your skin tones. I mix a lot because I I like to do several layers of skin um, and I go very thin on these. The reason why I go so thin is because you know it's critical to keep things like uh, like the legs and, and uh, the soft body parts uh, looking nice and smooth. The last thing you want is a high pigmented flesh tone that ends up uh, crumbling uh, when it ends up being applied to the model. So I'm going with a nice soft thin flesh tone. So almost done mixing. Now when you paint the other thing that I kind of remarked while I was painting on Skype the other night was you know most of the time most of the, the actual majority of time you spend painting is mixing color and cleaning brushes. It's super important uh, to keep your brushes clean. Now this one here going by really just uh, mixing in order to uh, it's just a brush for mixing only. I'm actually not painting with that. I'm painting uh, with a Winsor Newton number one. So uh, let's see how we go. So here is really thin highlight. It's going to be the first highlight and it goes down. So it's going to be a fair bit of the model. I'm not going to leave very much of that base skin tone down. Uh, that's a typical thing that you're going to do with, uh, say, a female model as opposed to a like muscly type model like, uh, say, the Steamborg Executioner where you're going to want to show a lot of definition. Female models, um, it's not so much definition really shouldn't be your focus so much as uh, smoothness. and just trying to get bring highlight to the right features so bring this in highlight here oh I'm out of frame oops sorry about that so I'm gonna bring that in there and you notice I'm going super thin you go super thin and then lots of layers. Super thin, lots of layers. And your skin should look really good. At least I think so. So I guess while I'm doing this, we can chat about what's been going on lately. Well, if you guys have been watching my videos, as you can see, I had a very busy week last week. Um, last weekend was Strategicon. Had a lot of fun there. Met some really cool people. So that was good. And then, right after Strategicon, went on the road to San Antonio. Played with the group of Malifaux players out there. Uh, notably, henchman Kevin and his crew. So that was really cool. Now I'm home. And we need to start thinking about our next convention, which is going to be WonderCon in March. Now, this isn't my show. This is actually going to be largely Jake's show, which is awesome because, uh, as you guys know, Jake is awesome. And he always has really good ideas for events and, and so forth to get people into playing Malifaux. Uh, I'm there mainly in a support capacity. Uh, unfortunately, it falls on the same weekend as my wife's birthday. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of support I can lend to him other than, you know, giving him the turning a trunk, showing up, maybe running a couple of demos, and that's about it for my involvement in WonderCon. But, can also work on events. 
Well, WonderCon is mainly a anime, RPG, comic book type convention. Not really known for its tabletop presence, and in fact, I think the only other games there are going to be like Magic and uh, Hero Clicks and all that. I don't know if Hero Clicks. Well, maybe Hero Clicks. Uh, so that means <coughs> the bulk of the tabletop presence is going to be SoCal Malifaux. Now that's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing in that we expect uh, Malifaux will be pretty heavily featured, which is nice. It's a bad thing in that uh, you know the the crowd going there may or may not be so into tabletop gaming, and we're hoping to change that. And I think with Malifaux being as immersive a game as it is, I think we will be able to change that. And uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what we're going to have to do is start working on some creative ways to do uh, introductory games and kind of appeal to that crowd a little bit more. So I'm sure Jake has it worked out, but... Uh, we're going to be working on probably more newbie friendly type of uh, events and things. I'm so out of frame. Sorry guys. But that's why we're doing this is so that uh, I can figure out how to paint in front of you guys because uh, yeah. Uh, last night I was painting more of this crew on Skype and it's an interesting prospect um, might be able to do kind of quote-unquote live painting over Skype and maybe some of you guys uh, that really enjoy the painting might even pop in give me a call on Skype then you can watch uh, because I plan on painting a lot more stuff, obviously. Um, maybe not keeping it all. Kind of like this commission here, which I will not be keeping. You can already see that the <coughs> skin tone is lightening up quite a bit. And you see how that's rough right there on the leg? I'm going to have to fix that. And you fix that by several thin layers. So, once again, if you've been watching this channel, you know I spend the most time getting the skin right. Because it's very important to me. I feel that, especially on a model like this, which has a deceptively high amount of skin, Getting the skin right is going to be a major drawing point for the eye. Pandora dress is uh, a little revealing. Maybe that's her appeal. Maybe that's why you gotta win a willpower duel to attack her. I don't know. Let me go back to the first model. Knock out another thin layer. There we go. You see, I'm just barely hitting this. Barely hitting the model. But the more thin, smooth layers you put on the model, the more smooth the skin will appear. And that's what we want. Okay. So, that layer is down. Now I could go third layer, or I could proceed to wash the model. Now, uh, with female models, I like to do griffin sepia, and I've already thinned down this griffin sepia. It's uh, still going to 
tint the skin to a darker tone. Uh, don't be put off by that because you're going to blend it all back down in a little bit. Actually, you know what? Take it back. I think when I was doing the other one, I think I went even a little bit higher. So let's add a little bit more light flush to the mix. And go one more layer. So you might be wondering what I think about the Pandora crew. Well, I like the models. Um, not a fan of Neverborn in general. Um, that might just be because they're good guys, but then they kind of look like bad guys, but then they're kind of good guys. I mean, they're okay. Um, <clears throat> they're okay. They just, I don't know, they don't appeal to me as much as, say, Arcanists or Outcasts or Rezzers, which are really, those are my more favorite uh, types of uh, factions in Malifo. Um, Playstyle wise, I do like the fact that Neverborn are so fast. They're so fast and they're so tricky. I do I do admire that about them. And most of the game systems I play, I do end up playing uh, faster uh, type of armies or factions or whatever. But you know, I, I really like the Arcanists because of their fluff. And if I want something fast, I can go with Colette. Because she's really fast. And I'm down with that. And she's cool. Uh, will I ever pick up Neverborn? Probably one day. I think my key interests in Neverborn are going to be uh, uh, Alt Lilith when that comes out. That model just looks amazing, and I so want to be a part of that. Uh, and also, uh, I want to do a different take on Dreamer. You know, you see these Dreamer lists with, like, stitched together twins and Capellius auto paralyze and all that kind of stuff going on. And people fear Dreamer so much because of his, uh, basically his... Uh, 28, 29 inch dive bomb ability where he can drop his whole crew off on you, kill one of your key models, and then be back in his deployment zone in a single, basically a single activation. Um, and so it leaves a lot of bad, just, just kind of a lot of bad press behind Dreamer. Pandora? Cool model. Um, the one thing I don't like is the, you know, her mechanic as really kind of cool and unique as it is. I don't like that it seems that there's such a, a strong passive component to her mechanic. And when I say passive, I mean passive as in, you know, you just need to be there. So with Pandora, for example, you know, if you want to attack her, you got to win a will willpower duel, and chances are you're going to lose that willpower duel. At least most minions and and a fair bit of the masters are going to lose that duel, and that automatically gives Pandora a a push, and one or more wounds you suffer. So, I mean, powerful, yeah. Um, makes for some interesting playstyles, yeah. Um, but what I don't like is a lot of times, and maybe this is just against new players, but a lot of times with Pandora, you just kind of have to be there. Kind of have to be there, and you work your little insight chain, I'm sorry, your pacify insight chains, and that's cool, I suppose, but, uh, I don't know, just doesn't seem to be the kind of challenge that I'm looking for in a crew. So it's not for me, and I know a lot of you guys like Pandora. And what's not to like, she's cool. But uh, just not for me, unfortunately. Okay. So, here come down more highlights. You notice how big my highlights are on this? They're pretty big. They're pretty big. 
pretty big and that's by design. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for just a second and I'll come back with the wash.